The fringes are becoming the mainstream. In Europe, the far right is rising. In Greece, three far-right parties made it into government in last month's election, including the Spartans, who have links with the neo-Nazi Golden Dawn Party. In recent elections in both Sweden and Finland, far-right parties received some of the greatest shares in votes and are propping up the government in both cases. Whilst far-right parties in Spain and Germany are rising in the polls and succeeding in local elections, Italy is governed by the Brothers of Italy Party, a party with fascist roots, and far-right Marine Le Pen got close to power in the last two French elections. Most of the parties have run on an anti-immigration platform, with many voters feeling like they are the only ones with solutions, whilst the more left and centrist parties walk on eggshells to avoid alienating their base. There is a sense that the so-called establishment is struggling to govern both economically and socially. However, there are fears that Europe is becoming too extreme, with many parallels drawn between the rhetoric of these parties and the rhetoric used in the continent in the 1930s. But has Europe learnt its lesson, or is this new breed of right-wing populism different? Are voters really attracted to the extremes, or do they just want change? Would a post-pandemic Europe be better off with a shift to the right? Or should Europe be worried about the rise of the far right? So let's get to it, uh, gentlemen. Should Europe be worried about the rise of the far right? As always, we begin with our quick fire round, 30 seconds each to lay out your initial stance on the matter, and we pick up the conversation from there. Uh, so, Mr. Messia, please take the lead. Your 30 seconds are on. Uh, hello for everybody. I am just uh, very surprised uh, about this dishonest presentation of your mm -hmm. uh, report. I have just uh, just asked a question. Uh, who is anti-Semitic today in Europe? Is that the far right, so-called far right parties, or is it all the progressist ideology that uh, uh, our uh, uh, immigrants uh, uh, favor? and open the, the, the frontier for immigration that carry in itself anti-Semitism. So well, the comparison between the 30s is really uh, yeah. stinky in a way, you know? Yeah. So well, I, we, I totally disagree with that. With the uh, basic what we premise, call far right today, yeah. What we call far right today is only the, 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 the willing of okay. the, uh, pop, of the uh, historical populations mm -hmm. in okay. Europe to keep their country with its uh, uh, identity, yeah. national identity. Sir, we That's will put all. a stop That's right here and continue in a second. Yeah, 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 we will put a stop right here, conclude the first uh, quick fire round, and then we'll dive uh, further into that, of course, uh, in a split uh, uh, second. Uh, Mr. Zabala, your take, your 30 seconds are now beginning. Thank you. Thank you very much for inviting me. Um, well, I do think uh, your report is quite accurate. We should be worried in Europe, we should be worried in the United States, we should be worried in South America, in Asia, everywhere of the rise of the far right. For very simple reasons, uh, we could simply start talking about basic human rights. Uh, the far right, in particular, the one I live here, I live now in Spain, and in Spain, for example, there's a very, very um, racist and uh, homophobic far right. Who's, uh, who actually they they go their, their problem is not only uh, immigrants but even women so yeah. yes, we should be worried and uh, we should be talking about that. okay last but not least Mark Schulman your thoughts yes I think it's be very worried I don't think everything has to be anti-Semitism although I'm sure there is a fair amount of anti-Semitism there it's the other that's the problem we mm. we were once the other now it's other immigrants that are the problem the rise of the far right has direct relations to immigration but also to the other changes global changes that are making things less stable. People want simple solutions. The Farid offers simple solutions in a very complex world, and therefore they get popularity, and we should be very worried because they bring a lot of terrible things with them. Okay, gentlemen, and from this point onwards, let's uh, feel free uh, uh, to uh, interact freely, uh, to engage in a conversation. And let's begin from the point uh, uh, Mr. Schulman just alluded to. I is it a new breed, so to speak, of right-wing populism, or is it the same good old one, uh, as they put it, uh, uh, Mr. Zabala? 
Um, well, that's a very good question. Actually, it's a very different sort of right-wing um, populism or fascism, if you want to call it. But it's we prefer to call this in political science, it's sort of a post-fascism. Because uh, fascism, at least in Italy in the 1920s, it was actually quite social. It was actually at a program that was actually, um, it, it actually did care about infrastructure or about the public goods, let's mm. put it this way. And it's unfortunately, the, the, the right-wing uh, fascism we have now is actually extremely neoliberal. So that's actually also why it has been accepted by many, by the central bank and et cetera. After all, we are we are leaving too much space, at least I think the European Union is leaving too much space to the far right, which should instead be confronted precisely on this uh, institutional and public good that we have. Mr. Messia, what do you think? I think uh, uh, we, are, we, we are right to, to, to speak about far right, mm -hmm. but the only far right I see today in uh, Europe and, and especially in France is the Islamist far right, is the Islamist totalitarianism. Uh, and this totalitarianism, this new totalitarianism, which has many comparison with the Nazism uh, 80 years ago, because it wants to destruct everything that it is not Islamic, you know, uh, the, this Islamic totalitarianism is anti-gay, anti-Semitic, anti-Christian, anti-democratic, and anti-human rights, you know. And this totalitarianism has collaborators. The collaborators are all the leftists and the progressists that open our borders and that put a red carpet in front of this uh, totalitarianism in the country. Who is killing today Jews in, in France? Who is killing innocent people? Who is doing uh, a, a terrorist attack? Is it the Nazi, is the neo-Nazi far right? Of course not. All the, the, the uh, aggressions, the, 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 the identity uh, aggressions uh, come by, by, by attacking, from... By attacking, by attacking the Islamists all the time, which I don't, agree, you know, I don't agree with them at all, and I think they're a real problem, but that's not a solution to and say, okay, the Islamists are worse than the far right. That's true. The Islamists are very problematic, but the reality is Europe needs immigration. There's no two ways about it. You will, without, you... immigration, without immigration, Europe will die because it doesn't have enough population. Europeans okay, are not making enough babies. You... So the, real, the reality me. is we have to find solutions yeah. to those problems, and the far right doesn't provide solutions. The center and left okay. also doesn't have good solutions. Is that why the far right is has gained gained support? Because Mister, it's easy to make the statements you made, but that doesn't solve the problem. Can you explain me uh, why, if the immigrants are uh, uh, making the wheel of the economic machine returning, how come uh, the uh, the average uh, joblessness of the immigrants in France are three times higher than the average uh, national uh, level? I'm not going. I'm not going to sit here and, and say that the immigrants to France are all no, wonderful. No, no, no. Other immigrants, question, please. But they're, but they're no, but no. I, I don't know the specifics of how many on the unemployment rate in France. To be quite honest with you, I know the demographics of France. High. I know. I know. I know the demographics of most of Europe. The reality is, when you have 1.2 children per per family, you cannot sustain a country. You cannot sustain an no, economy. This, it's and the reason this, the United States has done relatively know. well is because the United States has immigration and has its own problems, but it has immigration. All so Europe needs immigration. It just needs to figure out how to do it. Every country is different um, than another. Right, so you something? know, we are talking about human beings. We are not talking about uh, about uh, uh, coins in a game. It's for, not because you lack of, uh, for example, 500 French people. Uh, from natality, you can replace them by 500 uh, immigrants from Africans. We are not playing Monopoly. We right. have identities, we have cultures, we have uh, roots. Uh, we are talking about human beings. We are not... And you're, uh, and you're being exactly, uh, you're exactly, you're, Professor Zabala, you're being exactly yeah. that neo-nationalist where you're saying only us. Anything that's somebody else, that's the other. Yeah. And that's what the far right is all about. We, the other is a problem. And that's a problem in and of itself. Once it was the Jew that was the other. Today, the Jews, it depends on where you look. Some places the Jews are accepted, some places less. But now you're talking about the others. Whoever they may be, they're the others. Now, I agree. It's a problem. Well, it's always it? a problem. Yeah, we yeah, always like to be with our own. Professor Zabala, the, 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 uh, I do want to circle yeah. back to one point uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Messia uh, uh, made. Um, is it indeed a vote for the right wing or is it a vote against the left? Is it a vote just for a change? Right. Thank you very much. Um, well, first of all, I'd like to just say one thing Please. for the things that have been said before. It is curious how uh, what a clear identity the right always has. They always know precisely who the other is. 
and who they are also, and often forgetting their own origins and where they come from, and also the fact that the other might actually be quite similar to them. But leaving this aside and responding to your question, which I think it's vital for this debate, uh, I think that the, many people, unfortunately, are, are voting on, on the right, not necessarily against the left, which unfortunately has basically has disappeared throughout Europe. I mean, it's, it's a very moderate left. So the question is, has more to do with uh, technocratic policies. Uh, when also, when we discuss the idea that populism is an ideology, it's an error. Populism is not an ideology, it is a political strategy, as uh, Chantal Mouffe and many other philosophers have explained. And, uh, well, there are many different sorts of populism. There is right-wing populism, there is left-wing populism, there is digital populism. There, there are many forms of populism. And now we are where we can, we can see throughout Europe, and not only in Europe, I mean, Donald Trump is a very good example of, of one of the worst possible uh, species of populism there yeah. is, which, of course, has a, a, number of, a number of consequences upon what we call those minimum democratic values that we uh, that we share throughout Europe, but actually throughout the world. Because, again, I, I agree that the other, you know, there are many of many others, and we should be, we should re really be trying to, to bring them all together. Because, um, yes. No, and yet, is the, the far right uh, indeed a threat to democracy, or is it the left who cried wolf? No, All I think right. it, it, it's a it's a very big yeah. threat to democracy, Mark, and yeah. uh, it is a threat to democracy on many different levels. Not only uh, yeah. from with the problem of the of the foreigners, but even yeah. from a problem of gender, for example. Here yeah. in Spain, the far right wants to abolish not only abortion but many other laws uh, uh, that defend different sort of genders. There are yeah. so this is, far, this is this far, is it's a real threat. The, the, the far right has simple solutions, simple solutions, people like simple solutions. But look wherever the far right has come more into power. Look at Poland, look at Hungary. In both cases, democracy has been weakened by the far right because they know best and therefore they shouldn't have anyone else opposing them. And they've weakened the courts, weakened um, the, news, the news media. They've made sure they remain in power by weakening democracy. The far right tends to weaken democracy wherever they go. And that's yeah. one of the fears. Mr. Messia, briefly before we take a break. Well, the, the far right is democracy. Right now, it's not democracy. For example, if you take the relationship between Macron and referendum, what was the last mm -hmm. referendum in France under the uh, progressist and leftist ideology? None, because the actual system is very frightened from the people's power, and they want to control the people's power, and they want to, cu to cut the voice of the people. Yeah. The, the, the National Party is uh, proposing to restore the democracy the the and people. to restore the right of the yeah. people. Yeah, question remains, how far will the far right go once in power? But uh, hold your thoughts right there, gentlemen, because we are taking a very quick break, but we continue uh, from this point exactly once we are back, so do not go anywhere. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the summit. Uh, still uh, with us, uh, Professor Santiago Zabal, Mr. Jean Messia, and uh, Mr. Mark Schulman, thank you, gentlemen, very much for staying with us. We're also staying on topic, of course, but before we get back to our conversation, um, the astonishing uh, scenes in, in, in France uh, in the past uh, week or so, um, how is uh, Europe's uh, far right capitalizing on the French unrest? Uh, uh, let's take a quick listen uh, to a member of the far right National Rally Party and pick up the conversation from there. This situation is not the result of chance. It's the consequence of the last 30 years of policies in our country, or maybe more. Policies on security, policies on immigration, the city's policies. It's a failure. And today, the Prime Minister Bourne is not only co-responsible, but her government is in the situation that we find ourselves and our country in. Okay, gentlemen, let's get to it. Should you fight extremism with extremism? Another quick fire round, 30 th seconds uh, each, and we uh, take it uh, from there. Uh, Mr. Schulman, take the lead, please. No, I don't think you can. I don't think. No, I don't think you can. No, I don't think you should. Um, the moment you go into extremism, you lose any moral standing whatsoever. Of course, it depends what you define as extremism. Uh, you need to be smart. You need to fight it in ways that leverages someone else's extremism to show how extreme they are. But you yourself should not becoming an extremist. Mr. Messia, yeah. Yeah. Mr. Messia your, your, your thoughts? What is the nature of uh, the almost revolution we uh, faced uh, five, 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 during five days? Mm. Is that the far right that uh, burn and try to kill policemen in our streets and, uh, and destroy everything? 
this is the, the question to be asked is how come we arrive to this situation, mm. not how the far right can capitalize on that. You must go down to the roots, the origin of this problem, which is a, a, a totally mad uh, immigration policy. Uh, last but not least, uh, Professor Zabala, your thoughts? Well, unfortunately, problems are not so simple. Uh, there, isn't, there isn't only one reason why we have this violence now in France and also in, in other places. It's not always the same. It's, it's impossible just to find just one single one single reason. Uh, certainly, the foreigners are not the problem. Uh, the problem in Sarah are the far-right fascists who ignore the fact that they also belong to society, and society is composed and constituted with many different nationalities, races, etc. Okay, gentlemen, uh, let's feel uh, free uh, um, uh, to open it up uh, for discussion. Uh, you know, Greek, uh, Greece, rather, Spain, Italy, Germany, Finland, uh, Sweden, the list goes on and on. Are all hawks born equal? As in, are all right-wing movements across Europe uh, um, sharing the same agenda, sharing the same roots, as Mr. Uh, uh, Messia was saying? Mr. Messia, uh, please begin. No, I think um, uh, the, the, the nationalist, nationalist movement uh, in, in Europe are not all the same. Uh, as we are nationalists, every nation is specific. So uh, the problems in France are not faced by the national movement in the same way that the problem in Greece are, are faced or the problems in Italy. This is the first point. The second point, if, if you look uh, at the countries in Europe, which have very few immigrations. I'm talking about Poland, about Czech Republic, uh, about Hungary, uh, where there is no or little immigration. You don't have any riots. You don't. The rate of criminality is very low. Uh, this is these are statistical facts. It's not to be discussed. And so you at least. And at least two of them, you have governments that are nearly fascist themselves. So, you know, yes, no, uh, there's that, less that, crime. That's how you call them. I call a government, the, I call a government yeah. that, call, that closes the court system effectively, cuts down on, on freedom of press, n nearly fascist, not quite fascist, but certainly cutting down on the freedoms and in democracy that are supposed to exist. It certainly does not, right. democracy does not, is not the same level in Poland and in Hungary that it was before the rise of the current Polish government or besides the rise of the current Hungarian government. Yes, well, it's true. Immigrants bring, immigrants bring problems. But part of the problem is with the statement that you made, I find totally amazing. I mean, it's, it, it reflects your views, the views of your party. When you said that 100 uh, immigrants can't replace 100 Frenchmen. Well, you know what? The 100 uh, immigrant vintage may not be able to replace 100 winemakers in France, but 100 immigrants can replace 100 French workers on a production you, line. Because people are people, because, they're all because, capable. Uh, let, let, me, let me speak. You, you, are, you are considering that the humanity is made of code bars, interchangeable code bars. Uh, I think you, humans, are, is, humans are equal. Yes, humans are equal. They're different, no, no, but they're no, equal. No, humans humans are, are equal, but they're all, they have culture, mister. They have languages, they have religions which are different. You cannot import people. Uh, That's what's so interesting about it. Yeah. The Professor Zabala, please chime from in. from Africa yeah. and right. import them in France Good. and saying we, we, we can all live together. Oh. You're living together. Yeah. We have faced the consequence of five days along okay. in France here. Yeah. So when you are a leftist okay. representant, everything which is, which is okay. not leftist is far right for you. Well, Even it, Macron it, is far right for you. Okay, Professor Zabala, please chime in, yeah. Thank you. Uh, well, I think that perhaps instead of immigrants, we should be talking about global capitalism and uh, what that means today in relation to artificial yes, intelligence course. and the way the economy is changing. So maybe that's a much more, no, I don't think we agree on anything. So I think, so maybe we should be talking about that rather than talking about uh, the foreigner. The foreigner has nothing to do with the, with the problem of unemployment, for example. It has much more to do with a global economy. And Macron perhaps has done many errors there and also the European Union. And, uh, but today, post-fascism is even more neoliberal than what the establishment has become. So the problem we should be looking for, we should be trying to solve, is how to understand how to change the economic system in which we are. Maybe that would probably calm a lot, many people who are making the big mistake of blaming on the immigrants all their own problems.
Let's keep in mind the fact with global warming starting to accelerate, it would seem, and with the introduction of AI into day-to-day -day lives, we're going to see even more turmoil in the economy and in lives and in immigration in the coming years. And I think we need to take that into account and we need to find solutions that are not simple solutions because simple solutions do not work. And I'm sorry, uh, yeah. immigrants are part of life yeah. everywhere in the world and then we need to find ways to better so embrace the far them. Right is all about, to, uh, okay. is all about migration, Mr. Uh, Messia. Like this is the, the only topic we appear to be addressing when the title is the rise of the far right. No. Well, you know, what, what, what is really make me mad about this mm. question is everything you consider as far right in France and Europe, mm. you consider it as normal in any other country in the world. Mm. Yeah, the other uh, uh, talks about the immigration and the global warming and the need of immigration. Uh, do you think, for example, the Gulf countries will welcome uh, millions of immigrants in their country? And when they defend their border and when they defend their identity, even in, in, in Tunisia, uh, they defend their, their identity and their country. Why do, do you don't you call that fascism? Why this word is only specialized mm. in uh, uh, the movements that are defending the borders, defending no, but, the sovereignty, but, but, but defending the mistaken, identity Mr. in Europe? Mr. Messia, is, the, 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 is, the governance is, structure sorry. of those countries is fundamentally we, uh, different. We don't consider them democracies. Benjamin, 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 we don't Benjamin, consider Benjamin, any of those Benjamin, countries democracies. Israel, is it far right? Yes, he is. Without a the doubt, he's far is, right. His, his, his government is completely far right at this point. His, he is not a fascist. Benjamin part of his, is but fascist? Me, me, member, who? Is Yair Nazi? Netanyahu? Yes. Yair Netanyahu is probably a fascist, and the members of his government are certainly Israeli fascists. Israeli people will be, will be very happy to, to listen to that. Yes, most of them would go against them in the current polls. So, yes. See what's going on in Israel right now against the fight against the government that wants to decrease so, democracy. Uh, Everyone's in the streets Israel, because of that. The Israeli people, they have Adolf Hitler at the head of the state. They will be very happy. No, we didn't, no, one's, no one said Adolf Hitler and no one said Netanyahu is a fascist. Yes, but, he does have fa but he does have fascists in his government. Itamar ben Gvir and to a lesser extent Smutridge are, are clearly your, fascists. Your, 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 your speech is utterly scandalous, mister. Okay. Scandalous? Yeah, okay, fine. As someone who's fought for the Israel, I, you call me scandalous all you want. Okay, Professor yeah, Zabar. if you say that the, the, the Israeli government right now is yeah. Nazi and fascist, you are scandalous. Okay. I didn't say Nazi. Why do you use the word Nazi all the time? Everything does yes, not come back I to Nazis. I told you, is it Nazi? And you agreed. No, I said Excuse fascist. Me. Okay, no, it's the, for it's it, the it, same. It, it wouldn't have been a debate on Europe and the far right without mentioning uh, <laughs> the uh, uh, the past, uh, gentlemen. Unfortunately, this is all the time uh, we have, uh, but we uh, hopefully will be uh, seeing you back on the show um, sooner rather than later, uh, Mr. Jean Messia, Professor um, Santiago Zabala, and Mark Schulman. Thank you very much uh, for this. Hey, I see you liked it. Want more? Just hit the subscribe button right here. Go on. I know you want to.